Hello my YouTube friends. I've done a bunch of videos on virtual green screen for OBS. Now, the results of each of these processes can be a mixed bag, and some people's systems struggled with them also. I mean, let's face it, the best way to do it is with an actual green screen. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use a real green screen in OBS. And it's not free, but it doesn't have to be expensive either. So, let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help make people better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. Take a second and leave me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, hit that thumbs up. That really helps encourage YouTube to share this to a wider audience. And if you aren't subscribed, please do and click that bell. It helps ensure I keep creating awesome content that helps you. And it's totally free. There are two things you need to use a green screen in OBS, a green screen and some lights. The green screen can be a wall you paint green or cover up with green paper, a cheap portable green screen like this one. Even if you just use green fabric that you can get at a craft store and find a way to hang it up behind you, that's going to work just fine too. There are a lot of methods and it's pretty cheap and simple to do. There's a link below if you want to check out the portable green screen that I use. Lights can be easy as well. I use Home Depot specials to do the lighting, but if you want to use it during the day, and have natural light, you can probably find a way to make that work too. The main reason why a green screen will look bad or poor is uneven lighting. So it should be the main focus when you're setting one up. So the reason why I'm filming this like this is because I wanna be able to show you that there's a difference between what you see on the camera in OBS to what you see in the real world with the green screen. So I'm taking these lights here and I have two lights. These are just Home Depot specials moving them to the edge of the green screen. And the purpose for this is to try to get the green screen lit as evenly as possible all the way across. You want it to be one color. And you can see that in the real world here, it does look a lot like the green screen is just one color. There's no shadows or anything. But of course, when you look at it through the screen in OBS, well, there's shadow coming off the microphone and there's kind of a little bit of a darkness in the center and a lightness on the edge. You can see the way I have that light set up, it kind of blooms a little bit. Now I'm okay with having the center a little bit darker because that's where I'm gonna be sitting anyways. But but I wanna to try to get as much even light across there as I possibly can. So then I have a seat and one side looks good, the other side looks a little bit dark right around my shoulder area. So I'm gonna move the light in even further. And you can see now the green screen looks really bright when you look at it, you know, in the real world but on camera, you can still see there's some darkness around the edges. And so this is kind of how you have to play around with it in order to get even lighting. So now I'm just gonna add a fill light that's gonna lighten me up so I'm bright. And I wanna put this in a location where it's not really gonna cast a shadow on the stream. So I'm just gonna attach this light to the table and shine it up at the ceiling. And this will give me plenty of reflective light to make me look nice and bright on camera. You can see in the real world, I look a heck of a lot brighter than I do through the camera that OBS is using. And of course, this is just the MacBook webcam, but it's the kind of camera that everyone has access to. And you can see there, so now we look pretty good. Now that we have it all set up and lit properly, let's configure it in OBS. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of video and graphic assets for your videos and your live streams. Now I created all my live streaming video assets using Envato Placeit. My countdown timer, my branding bumper, the guest wait screen, ending and start screens were all created with Envato Placeit. And they all use my logo, which was created in Placeit too. Placeit has hundreds of awesome video templates to choose from. And then you can modify them by choosing different colors, texts, and text fonts, adding segments, music, and even changing the speed of each segment to create your own epic scenes. This gives you an infinite number of video possibilities for your streams and videos. So please click that link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to keep me making content that helps you. 
So thanks. So we're gonna go into OBS and we're gonna right click on our camera and we're gonna go to filters. And we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to chroma key. And if you did this right, you're not gonna have to make any adjustments at all. There you go, everything shows up as gray. And when I click close, the whole background is black. So now I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna go to media sources. And I'm just gonna add a video into the background here so that you can see what it looks like or what your stream could look like. And I'm just gonna browse to find a video. This one should do, I'm gonna click open. Then I'm going to go ahead and loop the video in case it's short and click OK. And then I'm going to just move this video down below my camera. And there we go. We have a working green screen. It looks absolutely fantastic. There's no edging. There's no green showing up around anything. It works really well. And that's the kind of results that you can get just by lighting something properly. It's really, really simple. And notice I didn't have to really mess around with any of the chroma settings. That is basically because we did all the lighting right. You can see a little bit of green in my hair and if we were to go back into filters we can definitely adjust the green down a little bit to remove that but for me this is incredible and it's no processing power really on your machine now if you want to see how to use a virtual green screen in OBS you should check these videos out and if you're always looking for tools tips and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or youtuber subscribe to the channel my name is Michael Fire Jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you in the next Next one.